Hi friend, David here from Learn Stage Lighting, and today we've got episode two of David Builds It. What's David building today? <gasps> DIY pixel tubes. That's right, this cool pixel tube uh, is a complete DIY project that I first saw on Reddit. I caught this a few months ago, thought this is cool because it looks like a commercially built project, but it can be made for really inexpensive. And so what I'm gonna do in this video is show you how to build from scratch this cool light up pixel tube that looks like those expensive pixel tubes that they use on network TV, music videos, and whatever else. All right, so if you love this, if you wanna check it out, be sure to subscribe here and let's talk about this. Now, the, the first note that I have is that um, I've already built this. Now, I shot this video once already, and turns out the cable had gone bad for my microphone, so there was no audio. Uh, and so this is round two. But I want to walk you through the entire build process on this, because I think it was really simple, but it gives you a great result. And so, f fast forward, rewind a little bit. Rewind, that's what they call that. Rewind a little bit. Um, David Builds It Here, if you haven't checked it out, is a new series that I'm doing where about once a month or so, I try to build some kind of cool custom project that you could use in stage designs. In fact, my first video, which you can catch here, shows you how to make a cool boxes design that is inspired by American Idol and could look great on um, any permanent stage, like for um, a band venue or a church or something like that. Really cool design. Check it out. Today, like I mentioned, I saw on Reddit a while ago, people linked to it from Facebook, I think, and that's what got me there, these really cool DIY pixel tubes, where somebody had created these, they just took some LED pixel tape, and um, they, I think the name, person's name is Unhelpful Sound Man, and they've been very helpful, by the way, in giving us this idea, and they took LED tape, stuck it down a, uh, a clear tube, wired it up, and all of a sudden you have, voila, a really cool pixel mappable potentially or non-pixel mappable with regular LED tape um, prop that you could use on any stage. And so I'm going to walk you through how to build this, walk through some mistakes that I made in that, and uh, then show you how to do it yourself. And so like I mentioned uh, in the first recording of this video, I built this thing from scratch. And so we're going to use some of that video here. So the very first step in this is to gather your supplies. Now, the tube itself is what's called a fluorescent tube guard. It's just this really thin plastic stuff um, that you can put around a fluorescent tube in situations where there's like food or anything like that, um, in places where people are cooking, etc. And so you can find these at, you know, the home center here in the U.S. That's uh, Lowe's, Home Depot, or Menards. I'm the best one. Um, <laughs> I'm not in the Midwest, but I, I do dig Menards. Um, but anyways... I'm not, not sponsored. Um, you can get these tubes, you know, they're really easy to find, they're really cheap, and um, you can find them in the fluorescent light aisle, usually. Then, um, what the person did next is they took craft paper, okay? It's just this white paper. Um, I bought it on Amazon, comes in a little box, and literally it is just a thin white paper. You can kind of see through it a little. It's kind of diffusey. Um, it probably diffuses more light than um, helpful, but since when you use LED tape and you have it, and you have it in actual view of people uh, from the audience, you usually don't run it at full. I don't really care if this diffusion sucks more light than something else, okay? And uh, last, you need your LEDs. Now, I tried, I made two of these, one with uh, LED tape and one with Christmas light LEDs. And I just found that in this case, you really want to use LED tape for this design. The Christmas LEDs were just, um, well, you can see it here. They're just, you can probably see here, they're just individual dots like twinkle lights at a wedding. Um, it's not really a cool, awesome looking design. So let's put this thing together. First thing I did was I went ahead and measured out my LEDs and cut them and soldered some connectors on them. Now, I've reviewed this before. I, you can use all sorts of different connectors. I like the waterproof ones. And we have more info on this inside of Learn Stage Lighting Labs. You can catch a link for that here. Okay, 
um, we have an, a whole action plan called custom LED design that's going to walk you through all this stuff. So, cut the LED tape to size. Um, it's got to be shorter or the same distance as your two, okay? Now, you could use pixel tape or regular LED tape where uh, just the whole strip is one color at a time. Does not matter. You could go either way. Of course, pixel tape looks cooler. Then, we went ahead and we wired this up. I just used LED wire, which you can find on Amazon. It's really inexpensive. Um, and I put some connectors on it, like I mentioned before, from Amazon, just waterproof three pin LED type connectors. Wired this stuff up to my power supply, wired this stuff up to my Pixel controller. In this case, the Entech Pixel Octo. Uh, it uses terminal strips, which make it super duper easy to be able to wire these guys in. And uh, then I fired it up. Boom, tested my LEDs, ready to go. Now, before I went ahead and actually put the LEDs in the tube, I'll show you here. I went ahead and I mounted them to trim channel, also available at the hardware store. It's just a metal channel that is gonna help the tape to have a longer life because it diffuses the heat. It helps break up that heat um, without affecting the image quality. Plus, it makes the tape stiff. Okay, look at me, I'm the blue man, blue man group. Um, which is great because our next step um, is to put the LEDs and the, and the paper in the tube. So I cut my paper, I stuck it through the tube. Um, a little note of caution here, it probably will look better and be easier to simply use clear tape and put the paper on the outside of the tube. But I wanted these to be a little easier for myself to take up and, and put, put down, put back up here in my office, and so I put it inside the tube. It's real difficult. Um, I kind of rolled it up tighter and shoved it in the tube and let go and it's very difficult to get it straight. But again, you know, when we're thinking about set designs, when we're thinking about custom LEDs and putting them together, um, usually it doesn't really matter how it looks two feet away um, because the closest audience member is going to be at least 15, 25 or more feet away. And so don't get discouraged by the fact that I can see the seam in here of the paper because at 25 feet away, probably nobody's going to see that. So then we go ahead, boom, boom, LEDs, tube, whoop, LEDs go in the tube, nice and easy. At which point uh, you could seal up the ends, there's a variety of methods to do this, but you're pretty much in business. Now you could, uh, you know, create some sort of clamp, mount these to a wall, whatever you want. So. Let's take a quick look at how these things look because, of course, you know, this is the how-to, the build, but we want to see these things look cool, too. Awesome. So, having turned off my front light just to make it a little bit dimmer, you can see here, this is my tube. It's running a chase right now. And maybe I move back a little further. I mean, this thing looks pretty stinking cool. Um, just to compare, this one used Christmas lights LEDs, and you can see the top one. It kind of looks like fairy lights. It, it doesn't look very good as opposed to this one, my bottom one, which, you know, one looks like I could uh, defeat the forces of evil, a la Star Wars. Two, it's pretty bright. You see it blown out on camera a little, and it, it looks cool. It's saturated, and unlike a bare LED tape, it really makes the whole thing glow. Let me bring just a little bit of light in, and, and we'll take a look at how it looks under some stage light. Now, like a lot of designs, uh, you know, this is going to look best if we can actually get it to the back of our stage, like so. Hopefully I've got enough wire. And have it actually sit at the back of stage. And you can really see it glow there. And when it's in the back of the stage, of course, there's less light on it than, than me. In fact, let me bring up my light to full and uh, move some colors around just for kicks. All right, to, now to really show you this thing, having changed my wall lighting, these pars, to magenta, Still got this guy in a nice cyan, running a little chase here. And you can really see when I stand it up and I get it away from the bright front light, which of course this is a video light, so it's very diffuse and it gets all over the place instead of a stage light, which often is kept off the backdrop more. Um, but what we can see uh, at the conclusion of this design is, okay, this thing looks cool. It looks really cool. Um, obviously, this design, I made one and a second one that I didn't turn out with the Christmas lights. And you know, it's not mind-blowingly amazing by itself, but it's very inexpensive to make. And like any LED element, 
most often uh, this is going to look the best in multiples again totally depending on your stage size and just a few tips here if you have a smaller stage and you want to make these things look good or or maybe you have a smaller budget and a bigger stage um put them in clusters okay even you know four of these maybe behind each band member or four you know on either side of a drummer or something like that can be a good place to start and get you in the game playing with LEDs, working with these custom things, and seeing if they work for you. Ultimately, uh, what you got to do is, you know, check this out, try it out, use it in your stage designs, and see how it can work well for you. Um, not only that, but the uh, design that I used with putting the LEDs, the LED tape, onto a, uh, a aluminum channel is really good for you in the sense uh, that it's going to help you in the long term. So you can pull these LEDs out of these tubes and then use them for a different design later. Uh, you could go ahead and, uh, you know, use them for something else, replace them as needed, etc. So it's, it's definitely not a throwaway thing. Awesome. I hope you enjoyed this video, this, this brief guide on how to create a cool LED tube stage design. Again, big thanks uh, to the most helpful unhelpful sound man on uh, Reddit who gave me the idea for this and for everybody who subscribes here. Thanks so much. And again, if you want more info customizing this to your specific needs or anything like that, check out Learn Stage Lighting Labs where we've got all the complete guides to building really cool custom LED designs. Until then, be sure you're subscribed and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks.